Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to take a look at the Parrot Disco. To keep up with the latest on drones, and to see our upcoming Disco Flight Test video, be sure to click subscribe. This episode is sponsored by the Academy of Model Aeronautics, a strong advocate for our rights as pilots in Washington, D.C. The AMA also provides liability protection when you're out flying for fun, no matter where you are. This is an exciting day in Roswell Flight Test Crew history. After seven years, we're taking our first look at a fixed-wing aircraft, so let's get started. Opening up the box, the first thing we see is the fuselage of the aircraft itself. It's made of black styrofoam with white plastic accents, and it feels plenty sturdy. At the nose, we have a camera that captures 1080p HD video and 14 megapixel stills. Now obviously this is a fixed camera, there's no gimbal here. However, it does include digital image stabilization, and I've heard it does a pretty good job. You'll be able to see for yourself in our upcoming flight testing video. Above the camera, we have the power button, which also serves as a status indicator light and incorporates a pitot tube to measure airspeed. This cover is held in place by magnets. And underneath it, we find the flight control system named Chuck, as well as a space for the battery. At the back of the fuselage, we have a single motor with a folding propeller, so it won't tear itself apart when the aircraft lands. On the sides, we have the mounting points for the wings, as well as servos to actuate the control surfaces. Next up, we have the controller, which has got this big antenna housing on the front. Parrot refers to this unit as the Sky Controller 2. Both of the sticks spring to the center in both axes, which is a bit of a surprise, because with most fixed wing models, the left stick stays where you put it in the vertical axis, so you can set the throttle where you want and forget about it. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this works in the field. In addition, on the face of the radio, we have the power button, a takeoff button, which spins up the motor, a settings button, and a return to home button. The A button takes a still photo and confirms a menu selection, and the B button starts recording video and steps backwards on a menu. Up front, you'll find a knob and a trigger under each of your index fingers, which allow you to control a camera and display options. Here, we have what appears to be a pair of video goggles. However, it's actually just an empty box with a pair of lenses built into it. To use these as goggles, you're gonna to need to insert your smartphone into this tray in order to display video downlink from the aircraft. We also have a pair of replacement blades for the propeller, an AC power adapter, and a battery for the aircraft. In addition, we have a pretty substantial user's guide, which looks almost intimidating until you realize it includes the same text in eight different languages. Looks like we have the wings, which are made of black styrofoam with white styrofoam accents. The elevons are simply flexible surfaces on the trailing edge of the wings, so all of the mechanical components are in the fuselage, and that seems like a smart idea. At the root of each wing, we have the connectors, which we use to mount it to the body of the aircraft. This is a holder for your smart device, like a tablet or a smartphone. And this box contains a charge cable for the controller, a charge cable for the aircraft battery, an A to micro B USB cable, and adapters for different AC power plugs from around the world. First, let's get the battery charging, so it's ready to go flying when we are. You use the same unit to charge the controller, and you can only charge one at a time, so plan accordingly. While that's charging, let's get the controller set up. You'll need a smart device running either the Android or iOS operating system, in order to receive video and telemetry from the disco. Go ahead and mount the device holder on the controller and then download and install the app. It's called Free Flight Pro. You'll need to connect your tablet or phone to the controller using a USB cable, which plugs into the side of the antenna housing. I can immediately see a problem with this design, especially if you're using a tablet. It covers up all the controls. Now in time, you'll learn to work them by touch alone. But for now, it can cause you some anxiety while you're getting started. Assembling the aircraft is pretty straightforward. 
just insert the wings into the mounting points on the side of the fuselage, making sure the elevons line up with the servo connector. Then push it into place until it snaps in. Remove the top cover and connect the aircraft battery to the flight control system. To power up the radio, touch the power button. A blinking red light means either that the controller is not connected to the aircraft or that its internal battery is low. Power up the aircraft. A red flashing light means either that it's booting up or that a problem has been detected. A green flashing light means it has achieved GPS lock and it's ready to fly. A yellow flashing light means the firmware is updating. Do not disconnect the battery from the aircraft. After a link is established between the controller and the aircraft, you'll get a message you need to calibrate the compass, and we'll show you how to do this in our upcoming flight testing video. Go ahead and acknowledge that, and we'll see live video from the aircraft. And here you can see the latency in the video signal. In addition to live video, the smart device provides us with telemetry and a few controls. In the upper left-hand corner, the gear icon allows us to configure the aircraft changing settings that affect flight performance, maximum altitude and distance, fail-safe return to home, camera settings, and more. At the bottom of the screen, we have aircraft telemetry, including speed, altitude, and distance to home, as well as battery condition for the controller, the aircraft, and a signal strength indicator. So that was our first look at the Disco from Parrot. Be sure to click subscribe so you can see our upcoming flight testing video coming soon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Fly safe. It's hell in place. It's hell in place. <laughs> to keep up with the latest on drones, and to see our upcoming disco flight test video, be sure to click subscribe. Don't touch it. Yeah, yeah. Here today to take a look at the Parrot Disco. Oh. Ouch. Roswell flight test crew. Here today to take a look at the Parrot Disco. <laughs> to keep up with... <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. Ah, 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 ah.